Hi, <laughs> my name is Marie and I'm 30 years old. I'm French. I work in Austria and I've been here for seven years and I work for a fine food company, um, for a French company. <laughs> and I'm a salesperson, a sales representative. Yeah, and uh, maybe you've seen my last video about uh, how I started to hear a voice and I realized it was God and I and now what I want to share in this video is um, um, about hearing God's voice for your business but also you can apply it to your life it doesn't have to be in a business you can apply it uh, into everyday life so yeah let's go for it <laughs> Yeah, um, first I want to share a verse for um, Jeremiah 33, 3. I'll read it to you. It's written, Call to me and I will answer you, and I will tell you great and hidden things that you have not known. So it clearly says that God wants to tell you his secrets. I mean, that's awesome. I mean, that's what you need, right? <laughs> I mean, you want to know his secrets. You want to know God as your friend, as your father, and you want a relationship with him. And um, in my case right now, it's working for my everyday life, for my job. And so I just want to share a few fun stories I had and how God talked to me and it really helped me in my job. So let's go for it. <laughs> Yeah, so um, now I knew, you know, like I, I kind of know now that God is talking to me, that he can help me. And um, before meeting, I start praying. And I don't, I, I can say I do it all the time, no, because sometimes I don't have time. I'm like so, so many things in my, in my head, but I try, I try to do that. So, um, and I want to share like a few fun stories when it really worked. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, if, like I will share like a few fun fun facts. It's really easy and not and not um, really long. But once I was like in my car, I was like about to go in the meeting and I was um, praying and I said, God, do you want to show me something about this customer? And um, so I closed my eyes and I saw ice cream. <laughs> and I saw ice cream and I, that's it. <laughs> and I was like, God, do you want to share something else about ice cream? <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't see anything else. But I remember um, what I asked, actually what I asked, it wasn't, do you want to share something? It was like, do you want to show me a problem this customer has? Because, you know, as a seller, if you know the customer's problem, you have quite likely the, yeah, you you should have a solution for that as a seller. <laughs> um and uh, once you know the customer's problem, you have many more chance to sell something. And um, so I like to know what troubles do they have so I can really help them. And when, I, when you help a customer, he's going to remember that and he's going to think about you next time he needs something. So when I saw ice cream, I didn't see anything else. And um, I go to the place and I'm like, hey, how, like, tell me about your business. And it's always good to ask open questions and to let people talk uh, because you want to know his needs. You want to know what's important to him. So it's just ask open questions uh, so we can talk as much as, as, much as possible. <laughs> so ask open questions. No, yes. You don't, it's not a good idea to ask yes or no question because you just get a yes and then you're like, all right. <laughs> so it's not a good, it's not a good thing. So ask open questions. And, um, and the, so I'm ask, telling him, asking him about his business. He doesn't talk about ice cream and I'm like, mm, not sure. So I'm just, I'm like, I'm just going to go for it and check it out if it was really something from God. And I'm, I'm like, so how is the ice cream business? And he starts complaining about ice cream because someone next to him opened a really cool ice cream thing um, and he cannot sell his own ice cream now and it's really difficult and I'm like wow so now I know his problem I can sell so that was like an example where I prayed before the meeting and after like I discovered the, what, what the problem was before entering so I could just like have an idea what I could sell him because we have something for ice cream <laughs> so yeah um 
I, another time when I was in my car, I said, God, would you show me something about the person I'm going to meet, like, like about the business? And I see some kind of liquid and I'm like, hmm, I'm not sure because what we sell is more like, it doesn't have, it's not liquid. It's like, <laughs> like something physical. So um, I cannot really tell because I'm still working for the company. So I cannot give you so many details, but um, we don't have any liquid product. What I thought about, yeah, I don't know. So I go, uh, I meet the customer and I start asking him questions and then I show him the catalog and he's kind, of, he's kind of like looking through and then there is this liquid product I forgot about. Like really fun because I, it's really fun. I really forgot about this product and he's like, I want this. And I'm like, oh, right, we do have that. And it was fun because it's really fun how Oh God, talk to me before and I even forgot, like we have, we have, we have 10,000 products, so I cannot remember everything, but this one, it was like, yeah, of course. I mean, yes. <laughs> so I think it was really fun. Um, yeah. I mean, it's always good to, to pray before a meeting. You don't have to, but I, actually I see the difference when I do it. So, um, I would encourage you to do that. <laughs> yeah. And another way God talked to me is that um, once I was at a fair and I, um, I had this dream that a customer was um, looking at the catalog and looking through the pages and then he said, I want this product. And he said that and I, then I woke up and in the morning I was like, oh, I'm wondering if this customer is going to come today. And this, was, this customer is, comes on, on our like fair and I'm like oh let me give like what I thought I was like I'm gonna give him the catalog like the the thing I dreamt about so I put him in his hand and he didn't say anything I'm like let's check it out if he wants this product and it happened exactly like the dream he's just turning the thing he's just looking at the at the catalog and he's like I want that and I'm like Yes, I dreamt, I dreamt. I didn't tell him at the moment, but I think it was really fun that actually God told me, look, you're going to see that and it's, you're going to sell that. And it's, it's like, um, for me, it was like the confirmation that I was at the right place at the right moment because I dreamt of it before. It's like the déjà vu. Maybe you've heard of it. Like you, you are at this situation. You're like, oh, I've, I've, I've seen the situation. I was here before. For me, it means that you're at the right place moment at the right place you're just like where you should be and when it happens to me those deja vu moments i just pay attention to what's happening around me because that maybe god is going to do it's going to move it's going to do something so i'm just like um i just i pay attention to the situation that's what what i do usually yeah and um, um, what also happens to me like all the time, <laughs> it's that I think about a customer and at this right moment, he calls me. Like it happens so often. I'm like, oh my God, I was just thinking about you. And there is no way at this moment I would have thought about him because I was thinking about something else before and it, it had, which, which had nothing to do. Um, so yeah, so when now when I think about a customer, I call him, <laughs> even though there is no reason, if I think about him, I always have something to say anyway. I mean, it's always good for the relationship. So I call him and like almost all the time they need something or they just want to call me or they thought about me. And, and I'm like, wow, God is with me. Come on. I mean, that's the thing about Jeremiah 33, what I just said. I'm just, I'm just going to read it again. It's called to me and I will answer you and I will tell you great and hidden things hidden things that you have not known. So he wants, he wants to tell us hidden things. I mean, that's so cool, right? <laughs> it's like a secret connection with God. And then, yeah, it's just like, it's helpful. And yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> yeah. And another, the last thing I wanted to share, and that's my favorite because it's like a crazy story. So I was with this customer, like a little customer is not buying so much from us, but he has a big potential. Like, he could buy a lot. So I'm with him, we're talking. And as I told you before, it's, it's not good to ask closed questions. Like a closed question is a question when, which you answer by yes or no. It's always good to let the customer talk and, and then you will get lots of information. 
I remember he got so not like he did got, get upset, and I I I I realized that I had no chance to sell him anything because, yeah, I was like an annoying salesperson at this moment. I was really annoying. I remember I was thinking about all the potential he had, and oh, it was bad. And I remember thinking and saying holy spirit please help what should i say because i will never sell anything to him he's so upset right now <laughs> and i hear this voice ask him if he wants to do this type of product i cannot tell you because uh, that's a true story so i want to respect the company i work for so i cannot really tell you so much details but that you will still understand so i hear this voice and then i, I think okay i will just go for it and then um, i asked um is that a wish of yours to do that? And he just backs up. He's like, yes, yes, I really want to do that. I've been thinking about it for so long. And it was really a wish of his heart to do that. And I'm like, oh, wow. And I remember at this moment when I said that and he said, yes, I want to do that. I remember, okay, now the door is open and now I can sell him something. But it was really the Holy Spirit, I would have never known that. It was like a question out of nowhere. It had nothing to do with what we, what we talked about before. And it was like, wow, this is crazy, wow. And um, so now we had something to talk about and it was really open. Um, what happened that we, I sent him help so he can really like, uh, uh, do the new range of product he wanted to create. We helped him and six months later he decided he would work only with us and um, I cannot, it's too bad I cannot say the numbers but he now he's doing a turnover of more than five numbers, almost six, um, starting from almost nothing. So it's a crazy story and um, it's really not me. I mean, it's not for me. I, I just got help from the Holy Spirit and, and I just said what he said to me and, and then the favor came and the thing is that this customer was so happy that he called his friends and people got to know that he was working with us and, and it was like a, the crazy thing and it was actually the biggest growth of, um, of my area of the year because he bought so much and um, I have to say I mean it was a I mean this is a special thing I wish it would happen every time things like that but I'm so grateful and I, I like I almost feel like it's not me you know it's the Holy Spirit so yeah I can just encourage you I mean it doesn't have to be maybe you're not a seller maybe you're just a stay-at-home mom but you can always ask the holy spirit for, for help and so often we just like we're just into our life we don't think about it and um it's just so helpful come on like <laughs> it like it brought like a lot of turnover for my for the company i work for and for you it could bring like so much favor to your kids or whatever what you're working for so just want to encourage you Ask help from the Holy Spirit. He wants to tell you the secret hidden things and he want to help you. He want to partner with you like a friend, like a, a dad. And yeah, talk to God and ask him. <laughs> you have nothing to lose. <laughs> All right. Hey, have a good day. And I hope it encourages you. And um, yeah, see you next time. Bye.